I mean, it's a pretty gigantic story, I think, with ramifications that will be felt throughout, if not the rest of the year, next, like, couple of years. I think it's like, you know, Harvey Weinstein obviously is, like, a tremendously influential and famous and, you know, everyone kind of knows this old school Hollywood mogul, like, acting in a new environment and, like, has produced some of the greatest movies to come out in the last 25, 30 years. So to have these allegations come out against him... Um, in such a way and have them be tracing back through decades is like pretty significant, I think, obviously. And, you know, it's the some type of thing that I think could have big ramifications, not just for the Weinstein Company, but for Hollywood and movie stars and all the people who have worked with him in the past. And, you know, the Academy Awards, I think it kind of like you it's like a sweater where you pull on one thread and the whole thing starts to unravel. Ashley Judd uh, wrote uh, or was interviewed by Variety two years ago and told the story that she has now revealed is claiming to be Harvey um, about being left in a hotel room with the studio mogul who had all these accusations against him and rumors about him. Uh, so I think it's like the type of thing where like people may be suspected it. Obviously, his reputation of having such a bad temper and being the type of person who maybe would like, you know, throw a phone or, you know, you know, like Harvey Weinstein obviously has these fits of rage, you know, embedded into his mythology. So I think that part of th- that part of it is not super surprising to people. So a lot of these allegations probably weren't that surprising to everybody, but at the same time, you know, I do think it's like still kind of a, a shock to see so many people on the record in that story.